I'm back. Get your readers how y'all doing. So, yes, honey. Baby, I got to hurry up because I won't delay y'all no more days with this Love and Marriage Huntsville review. So, I'm about to give it to y'all right now real quick and record this um, for y'all. No, I'm on my lunch break, but still want to go ahead and give y'all this good content, okay? And, of course, if you watch this tonight before 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll be live um, with Barb on our Barb Meets World, okay? Um... I'm sorry, on our Bob Meets World panel that we that we do every week. Um, also, I'll be bringing y'all Jocelyn and her list strip show in every union. Either I'm going to try to get that recorded tonight um, after we do the panel. If not, I'll have that for y'all tomorrow as well, baby. It's testing week in my house. So I'm really trying to limit the live. So that's why y'all getting these pre-records this week. Because I'm kind of, you know, want my house to be settled so my kids can have a good night's nice worth of rest. And film before they go take them tests in the morning. But anyway, child, like I found on my lunch break, so I'm coming to y'all real regular, some regular. I did try to put a little something on it, let's be, but it ain't no foundation, ain't no none of that. Take me as I am today, come through Mary J. Blige with the lyrics, okay? So now y'all already know how this episode started, honey. It started with Destiny and Kimmy down there to the Madonna. Now, Kimmy, I want to believe that this was just. Um, something that y'all needed to film so you can have a scene that Destiny can have a scene when nobody in the store, now I know people talking about, you know, you gotta sign waivers or whatever, but Destiny, girl, you should have just BB, um, get people that free church's chicken or something around there so they could be in your store, so people can want to come to your store, but hopefully it's open now and not just open for taping but i did just see on instagram a few minutes ago that you kimmy and kiki come out and i mean you kimmy and um girl team white girl tisha uh it's supposed to be down at madonna this weekend so if y'all in that huntsville area y'all go and tell me come back and tell me what it's hitting for you know what i'm saying if she really had the grand opening grand reopening and if they was there but she's sitting up there they're talking about all right what's going on this and the third kimmy like so what's going on between you and mel she like girl what <laughs> I don't know. And Destiny, the the reason that you are not friends with Mel, girl, we're going to get into that um, later on in this episode. But you keep pretending like you don't know what's, what's up with the deal is when this lady has told you more than once and then you conflating issues. It's all because you friends with Tisha. It's not because you friends with Tisha. It's because you sat there in that hotel room and let Tisha say whatever she was saying or whatever y'all back and forth was. At the end of the day, whether you were saying something negative about me or not, listen, don't have a conversation with me or, about me, but you know I don't fool with, and that's just what's up, and that's why you flawed and you fucked up. But if you feel like that's okay to do as a friend, then you know that's why you don't you don't have many, and you running behind Tisha like a lap dog, like you was running behind Mel like a lap dog. You know what I'm saying? Like we see Mel trying to phase herself out, cause I really just believe if this ain't Mel season, next season definitely gonna be Mel season, cause she ain't fooling with none of them people, she ain't fucking with none of them people, she don't want to tape with none of them people, and God knows. I don't want no more scenes of Mel and Tiffany. I don't even understand why Tiffany is here. Why was she at the gala time? Because what? Did y'all see her? Because I didn't. But anyway, we're going to digress from there. So, Kimmy, like, well, I didn't know it was that deep. I didn't know y'all, you know, y'all was in that kind of place. But, Kimmy, you the same person who said you thought you and Tisha was doing better, but then you found out that y'all wasn't. Just the same way Mel sat on that stage and thought her and Tisha was doing better when Tisha tried to come out here and say, oh, <laughs> she tried it to ruin my marriage. Girl, like, I hate that you're not letting your husband play the part that he's playing and ruin your marriage. Because Mel sent your husband to that hotel to lay up in that bed i guess mel did that too right but anyway so that's going on back and forth back and forth really i just hope this store is about to be open for real for real like i don't want to see nobody business do bad so i hope this scene brought some people up into the madani um so this lady could get off of public assistance if she is still on it and shout out to, you know, like, listen, ain't nothing wrong with being on public assistance. I done had to have it before, and I'm going to be real transparent, baby. I had the food stamps and the Medicaid. So, y'all don't have to ask me what public assistance I had. That's what I had. I appreciate it why I had it. And Lord knows, baby, because the groceries is high, okay? The groceries is high, baby. I appreciate it. I, I appreciated them when they gave it to us for the kids who was going to school for the pandemic. Yes. Yes, God, did I appreciate it? I'm be real with you. Yes, I did. So you don't have to ask me. That is the public assistance I had. Okay, never had the tan if. 
and none of that. But I did have Medicare and food stamps, and I did have childcare at one point. They, they paid their portion of the nursery, and I paid it. Like, ain't nothing wrong with it. I ain't ashamed of it. I needed my kids ate. They was able to go to the doctor, and be, I was able to put my son in the nursery while I went to work. So it is what it is. I am ashamed of it. I don't understand why people be acting like they got to be ashamed of it. If you need it, you need it. It's there for the people who need it. Now, if you're just trying to get over, then you you on a whole nother level. But, um, child, let me know, girl. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I ain't even about to say that because I don't even want to be flagged. I don't want the government and none of them people come looking and watching and, and looking at me, baby. Mm -mm. Y'all, I'm sitting by my little window right now. Cause I don't feel like sitting on my sofa. So anyway, we see um Maurice. Why Maurice always look not Maurice Marceau? Go talk to Maurice. Marceau mouth is made like a person who a dentist and they take their teeth out. Like it don't look like he. It look like his whole top palette is missing. Has anybody ever seen his top teeth? I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch real good this week to see if we see it. Because why his mouth look like he around here gumming or something? Like I just don't understand. Like how anybody could be attracted to him. But you know what? People probably sit down and see how people could be attracted to me. So I mean, it is what it is. But child, he ain't. Mm -mm. Nothing about girl. Mm -mm. Nothing about him gives me. Let me fight to stay in this struggle marriage. Not them looks, not the way he talked to her, not the way he treat her. Baby, especially after I saw that damn live they did on Mother's Day, girl, down to the Daytona. Now, I want to believe, girl, that that's what you wanted to do with your Mother's Day. Go watch Formula 51, Formula Area 1, whatever they call the Formula 1, whatever the formula is and the number, cause racing around the racetrack. I enjoyed my Mother's Day sleeping. Yes, I did. Yes, God. It was the one time my kids let me sleep. It ain't bother me. And when I say ain't bother me, ain't bother me. Except for when I woke up, they was bringing me like, Mama, you want something to drink? Mama, you want something to eat? Other than that, y'all, they didn't bother me. Like, I think I need a Mother's Day like that at least once a month. Just once a month. Let me lay here. Let me sleep. Let me Netflix. Let me get into whatever it is I'm going to get into, right? And then we good for the rest of the month. I, I'm going to start a petition. Any mothers with me out there, let's, let's start this petition and let's sign it. Like, we just need a date once a month where y'all don't bother us don't, with us. Don't ask us nothing. Let us be peaceful. I promise you. I, I mean, I'm going to love you anyway, but I promise you, this is going to be a whole different little story, baby, because you, know, you talk about woke up and was like... Baby, I had to rewatch everything because I fell asleep. Child, I was enjoying that moment, that moment that they not decided not to call my name, just to call my name. But anyway, Morso goes over to Maurice's office, all right? And, they, you know, they got to be either at Black or at the office, and I ain't mad at them for pushing their businesses. But I hope y'all making Carlos King and them own people pay y'all for using y'all locations. This is separate from my check that you paying me from being on the show. I hope y'all getting that location check too since y'all you take filming at y'all businesses. Okay, don't let them film at y'all for free. Business people. But anyway. So they mean he telling Maurice that Martel wants to get back into scope. And I'm like, Marceau, I see so I see through you, sir. I see through you. You know, you you don't know about Tisha. Tisha don't really want to do it. And, you know, Tisha sold her apartment building to buy his shares. Now, baby, um, that must have was a dilapidated apartment building. Because according to the, res the, the the time Mel had yesterday up in somebody messages, um, Mel said y'all only paid my son about, about $14,000, somewhere in between there. So, baby, um... I mean, she bought the shares. I hope she got more than that for an apartment complex. Oh, baby, she was a slumlord. I don't know. I, baby, well, mm, child. I don't know, but these stories don't be adding up. But it's the presentation that Tisha actually runs things now. And I'm no longer a shit husband. Like, I'm tired of people saying I'm a shit husband. And shit about to hit the fan because I done been in the bed with somebody else. So let me go ahead and build my wife up. That's, that's one rule you're playing right there. Then rule number two that you're playing okay is the let's pretend that i'm really considering letting martel come back into scope you don't want to work with martel not even a little bit not even a little bit definitely not a lot okay um because you started it you started the campaign okay with the well you know i gotta talk to tisha because tisha own majority shares which yeah you do 
You know what I'm saying? You do have to get up there and talk to Tisha because she own the majority of the shares. And I'd be damned if you be making decisions and I own majority of the shares, especially with somebody who walking around here that was helping you cheat. Y'all was cheating together. Tisha, I don't believe you that stupid. I don't believe you that stupid. I don't believe you that naive, girl. Just say, I'm not, that's my man and I'm sticking beside him. I'm not going nowhere. And you gonna love me, okay? And you gonna love me. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not living without you. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, girl. Let, and just let us know. Let us know, girl. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and politely tell us, leave your husband alone and let him cheat in peace because you're not leaving. Period. Okay? But that's that on that. And then you run around here talking about, so that was it. You know, you want to cover up for that. Now you going to Maurice. So it's basically giving, I don't really want to work, work with Martel, but when the answers come down and they say no, you know what I'm saying? And we say, no, it's it's going to be, I tried. But I tried. You saw me. It's documented. You saw me talking to Tisha. You saw me talking to Reese. You saw me talking to them and getting the advice. We tried to do the little thing with Destiny on you. We told you, go get your builder's license, and you have yet to go do it. So what more do you want me to do? Y'all know y'all know, y'all Mortel is not going to get that builder's license under no circumstances. Everybody done told him. Jesus done came down here and said, Mortel, get your builder's license. And he still ain't went. He still ain't went. Not the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit can get him to go and get this builder's license. So y'all know what's setting that as a reason for him to be able to come back in. Y'all know what you know what you was doing. You don't be more more work with him, and I don't blame you. Right now, um, baby, my town name is Trash in the Streets. And if you're really trying to do some legitimate business, you know what I'm saying, then you, your partners, all of that. All of that affects your business. You know what I'm saying? And Martel look bad every time his baby mama go live. Every time she go live. People not only dragging her, but they dragging him too. Because, sir, why did you feel the need to do this? And now we have been bestowed the blessing that never keeps giving. That never stops giving. Which is coleslaw. And these dry lives with um, Paris taking care of the baby. Last time she was on a live, she left the baby in a car. No, that was before the Mother's Day. Where she let us know that he was blocked and all of that. Like, that's sloppy. That's sloppy. That's messy. You know what I'm saying? That's messy. Like Martel, you you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be a boss, baby. You ain't supposed to be this sloppy, okay? Bosses don't be this sloppy. And you should be able to, as a boss, control your mistress, okay? Because most of them can until the mistress gets tired or the wife gets tired. But most bosses keep their mistress under under wraps okay they take very good care of them and them women know let me be quiet or my bread will not be buttered so you find the wrong kind you find the one that don't want to be a mistress she wants to be the main she wants to be up front and center so one way or the other she's going to be up front and center but you know what Ariane's going to be marcel your fucking karma your fucking karma because you got to do well forever so you can't get rid of her you can't get rid of her and she, just like you, is with the shits. And she's dedicated. She's dedicated to working on your fucking nerves if you don't want to be with her. Okay, she's dedicated. But I want more so, let me get back to that thing. I want more so to stop acting like he want to work with Martel. Just tell him no. Like, I don't know what it is that Martel got going on that y'all act like y'all afraid to say this man. Y'all don't want to be bothered. Oh, Marcel know you're there for real, for real. That's what it is, right? He know you're there for real, for real. Because I don't know what the issue is. Because, baby, I would... <laughs> I would have told Marcel, nigga, your name is trash out here in these streets. You do too much, you talk too much. I might want to go gamble and tell Tisha we had a business, late business meeting. But I done stopped over here at the Bull Revage or whatever. Y'all know Mississippi right there by Alabama. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how far Huntsville is from Biloxi up there, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? But you sloppy. And at the end of the day, you can't take your charges like a man and keep going with it. You want to throw everybody under the bus when you got caught. You know what I'm saying? You want to sit out here and put doubt in my wife's head, which I doubt that was the first time she heard it. But at the same time, I run it just like that. 
you want to put doubt in my wife's head and got her out here thinking I have 20 girlfriends or two girlfriends or three girlfriends because you got busted with your mistress and a baby. Nah, I can't fool with you. I can't rock with you. You sloppy. You throw everybody under the bus. And um, that's the wrap on this business. It had been a wrap on the friendship for me. Take your lick. Take your lick and take your charge. If you can't take your lick and you can't take your charge and you got to throw me under the bus with you. Mm -mm. Nope. Can't fool with you. That's dead, done, finito. Here lies the friendship of. Go on here. Let's have the fume. Let's have the repass. And keep it pushing. All right. Now, simultaneously, y'all know they had Fred and Martell talking. And Fred, another one. I think that's that man's name. Y'all know I'd be bad with names, girl, but I think that man's name is Fred. Okay. Fred was round there, down there with Martell, girl. And Martell come there like, you know, hey, I'm ready to get back to work. I haven't done nothing with building. This, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? And Fred's like, pull out the book. Like, here you go. Tabs highlighted and everything, baby. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has got highlights and sectioned off already for you. Go ahead and study for that test. Go ahead and study for that test. And Motel, like, what I need to study for the test for when I have you? Another one. Another one. And y'all just, <laughs> y'all body language says y'all don't want to fool with him. But y'all sitting up here, <laughs> like, why y'all just don't tell this man the truth? Like, listen, we're not fooling with you like that. We're not rocking with you like that. We could be cool, but on a business level, I can't fade it. That's it. That's all. Take your test. And do what you got to do with it. It's that simple. Or maybe it's not that simple. What Montel got on y'all? Because y'all know he's going to throw y'all under the bus. Y'all don't do what he say. I'm just saying. But at the same time, Martel, you was operating under Mel had a builder's license. You feel me? When Mel left, she yanked us with it. Like, we ain't about to do business. We ain't about to do nothing. I refuse to let you work under my builder's license while you go take care of somebody else and the baby you made on me. Point blank period, that's all. We This is done. Finito. Businesses, everything. So everything came to a grinding hope from you because you didn't have nothing in your name, hope. That's some bullshit. Like, how you want to be a boss but have but carry worker credentials? The credentials need to match. If you a boss, you need to have boss, boss credentials. But since you want to continue to be a worker, sir, then be a worker and get out of our face with this bullshit. Get your license. Like, why would you continue to put yourself in a position, in a position, in a situation that if somebody decide they don't want to fool with you today, tomorrow, yesterday, the next day, then you back at square one. All your business comes to a halt. Not to mention everything you do got to run with somebody else, which means you got to continue to split your money with somebody else. Now, ain't nothing wrong with a business and a partnership, but understand at some point in time, you have to do something that is for you. You have children. So what you going you can't leave them behind assets on somebody else's builder's license. At this point, Tank gonna have a damn builder's license before him. Hell, Sugar Mama gonna have a builder's license before Mortel. Hell, the unborn babies of 2058 gonna have a, a builder's license before Mortel at this point. I don't understand. If you can't get your builder's license, just come out here and say it. And for all of y'all who's talking about he don't have to tell y'all. He don't have to explain to y'all. Yes, the fuck he do. He on a goddamn reality TV show where he came out talking about he a builder and he ain't got no goddamn license. Yes, the fuck he do. He owe it to us. He do. He owe us an explanation. He owe us an explanation. His mama and his churn an explanation. Yep. Because don't go on my TV talking about nothing that you don't want to expose. If you're not going to tell me the truth about it, don't get on my TV with it. Period. Yeah, he owe it to us. We want to know. Next. If you, if you don't agree, I don't care. Drop down in the comments and tell me y'all don't agree. Y'all do it anyway. Anyway, over to this Galentine. Now, y'all, I really had a problem with this whole Galentine. It disturbed my whole spirit. Because, first of all, in reality, um, Mel, why was you pressed? When Tisha didn't speak to you. Y'all don't fuck with each other. See, that gives into that I'm male, this is my shit, and everybody should always acknowledge me mentality. And listen, I mean, you know, you in 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 muscle D go to Carlos, you know, and present the idea. So I understand that. But listen, you can't be cocky and humble. 
I mean, you can, but it don't work. You know what I'm saying? If you want to walk around here like this my shit, then you should carry that attitude. You should have carried that attitude throughout the whole thing. But y'all don't fool with each other, so I'm not understanding. Um, Tisha, you came up in there with the teen white shirt that Mel had made while they was going through with the side chick shit and some tennis shoes. So you knew what you was doing. You was being passive aggressive by wearing that goddamn shirt because you knew it was going, you, 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 you wanted to make Mel feel some type of way. Now y'all beefing. So at the end of the day, y'all beefing. That ain't your girl like that. So I mean, if you wanted to make her feel some type of way, then that's on you. But 100% stand 100% down on that. See, this is the thing that pisses me off about you and Mel. Y'all got all this to say when y'all talk to other people. Y'all got all this foolishness to say up in the confessionals, but then when it's time to keep the energy, y'all don't keep the energy not 100% the way through. You know what I'm saying? Don't start it. Don't get it started. And then don't finish it. You come around and y'all was looking for me. Here I go. Here I am. Girl, if I was mad, I was saying, yeah, let me finish you right here. Because first of all, the only reason why anybody knows you is because I had a motherfucking idea, bitch. Calm your nerves. That's number one. Number two, did you not come to me Asking me for the blueprint so you can get up out your house from being a stay-at-home mama. Oh, because Maurice finally let you off your leash and let you do some shit. Now you feel like you that one to approach me. Girl, don't try me. Don't try me. Then we have to give y'all that give y'all some money for a long. Then we didn't me and my husband, my ex-husband, like I would have claimed them at that moment just for the points points and purposes of reading you. Then we have to pull y'all out the gutter because y'all ain't heavy. So you better sit your five dollar ass down before I make change around this bitch. Cause you don't mean shit to me. I'm not that pressed about you. I don't care about you. You don't mean nothing to me. You still trying to figure out what's going on with me and what's going on over here, girl. Bye. Girl down. And that would have been that. And if I'd have been T shot, I'd have been like, girl, trying to be like you. Do your shit, baby. This is an ensemble cast, okay? I got fans and stands just like you got fans and stands. And the majority of the people don't even like you. Don't fuck with you. That's number one. Number two, what you did back then is what you did back then. But look at me now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't shit on me. You can't sun me. And at the end of the day, you can say what you want about rumors in the street. My husband ain't got no known babies out here. My husband, and if my husband do have mistresses at the end of the day, he checking them hoes because they ain't on the internet dragging me. Like, keep the energy and keep it consistent. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tisha, don't come up there with that. Y'all was looking for me. Hey, I am. Whatever you got to say. Say it in my face. And then they say, bitch, I'm not talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Then you want to be, she called me a bitch? Did she call me a bitch? In that moment, you deserve to be called a bitch. But you bought the bitch energy. See, you walked in and told Kimmy. When Kimmy was like, don't be doing the gal thing. Don't be doing the girl thing. Well, can we stay, bitch? I came in here to match energy. No, you bought the motherfucking energy with you. And the energy was matched unto you, honey. It was matched unto you. Um, Destiny, you want to sit up here and talk about, hey, hey, looking all pitiful. Yes, bitch, hey, past tense. Because see that same bullshit Tisha did while y'all two were talking? And you didn't stop her and say, listen, let me deal with Mel. And then y'all go deal with y'all issue. It's the same bullshit that she did on the stage. Which leads me to believe you and Tisha been plotting this bullshit. Okay? You and Mel been fell out for whatever reason. But that's why I want y'all to get off my TV with this fakery and fuckery. And this, this kerfuffling. Okay? Of words talking about she's mad because we're friends. No, she ain't mad because y'all friends. She mad because you don't know how to be a friend with both of them. Being a friend with both of them entails this. Mel, I'm not about to talk about Tisha with you. Tisha, I'm not about to talk about Mel to you. Don't mention it to me. Unless y'all two want to dead the issue and get together. Y'all want me to sit and run mediator or whatever. Other than that, I don't got nothing to do with it. I'm cool with you. I'm cool with her. I'm And I'm Ray Charles to y'all bullshit. But no, you don't know how to do that. Because if Mel was supposed to be your good Judy, which we all kind of thought she was, although I just really felt like you was trying to get close to her, in my opinion. So run back and be um, Martell, little spot. You know what I'm saying? But for whatever reason, if y'all was good Judy's, the way you so upset and so hurt about it, you know what I'm saying? Then, ma'am, you should have told Tisha at that moment, man, listen, that's not your place. That's not your place. This is between me and Mel, even though Tisha was worrying about talking about the op. Girl, who cares if you are op? Or an op or an enemy. Y'all ain't cool. We not cool, so you're definitely my opposition. Because I don't fuck with you. 
You know what I'm saying? But you should have told her, listen, Tisha, chill. Let me finish talking what I'm, I'm talking about with Mel, and then you can deal with that. But the same way she butted in y'all conversation then is the same way, and you don't stop her. But you're supposed to be perceived as being loyal. No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So stop, stop playing. Like, y'all, you don't know why y'all not friends. If you don't know, watch this video. Somebody sent it to her. That's why y'all not friends. Because you don't know how to be friends with both. You don't know how to stay neutral. And that goes for even with Martell. You don't know how to stay neutral. Like, oh, I'm trying to get some good juju or good how to figure out how to work with my situation with Mel. But you go to the person who goddamn hate on her the most because she left him and didn't want to put up with his shit. Wrong move. Wrong move, wrong energy, wrong spirit. I don't blame her for wanting to cut you off. I cut you off too. Is that simple? Is that simple? Then next thing you know, we got Stormy and Stormy X and Storm Nine. Yes, I saw Stormy live. Stormy said it kicked off because Destiny was making fun of her accent. She said she had already said what she had to say from Mel, and Mel had already told her. So she she don't know Destiny. She wanted to get Destiny's point of view of what was going on. Like I'm not gonna judge you. Let me hear what you got to see. Which that's fair. And then Destiny turned up or whatever, whatever. You know, she says in the cut scenes. But from what we saw, you know, they was going back definitely like, yeah. She was like, yeah, cause you won't be like me. I know I won't be like me too. I was like, yeah, Stormy pop your shit. Now some people say they ain't like Stormy, right? Now in the moment when I saw the scene, I was like, damn, she is doing it too much. But when I watched it over, I was like, okay, so some parts of this is not lining up the way editing was and Carlos and on and oh, oh, you got billions. I expect for anything that come on your show to have, on your channel, to have top tier editing, okay? Top tier. Top tier. Period. Is what I'm expecting. Um, and that's not what we got this episode. You know what I'm saying? With some parts that Destiny was talking, then it cut off. We could see her mouth moving, but then we couldn't hear what she was saying. Girl, it was, you know, and then we got the email, I'm done. So them two get to going back and forth and Stormy like, this ain't what you want. And I believe it because Stormy seemed like she got a little hood in her. But Destiny seemed like she got a little hood in her too, child. So I don't know, but them two don't even need to be fighting. But then I saw in the comments, let me address this. People were talking about, well, how Stormy do business and she talking like that and this, that, and the third. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all think the way I'm talking to y'all right now, like, listen, this is me. This is me. This is what you're going to get all day, every day. You see me on the street, I'd be like, hey, girl, how you doing? Hey, love, hey, babe, whatever, right? But y'all think when I'm at work on my job, I'm answering the phone, yay, hello. No, I got a whole professional voice. Thank you for calling. I ain't gonna say why we're. Thank you for calling. This is Kristen speaking. How can I help you? Oh, yes, wonderful. I'll be more than happy to assist you with that. If y'all don't know how to code switch for, for, the, for your work, okay, from your, your professional voice to your regular voice, that's why some of y'all unemployed. Okay, I mean, you know, I'm just being honest. All right, so that's how that ended, y'all. But um, I, and why y'all calling Stormy ugly? And why y'all talking about that lady lips? I'm just saying she has natural black features. Get into it, and I like it. I think Stormy is very pretty. I think I don't think nothing wrong with her nose. I don't think nothing wrong with her lips. Like, baby, she have black features. It is what it is. Everybody not around here going to get BBLs. I'm not knocking the people who going get bbls everybody ain't around here contouring so their nose could look like michael jackson nose number three like everybody ain't doing it appreciate people features for what they are i just want more so to get some tea at the top if you don't have none i'm pretty sure he have tea but that's what his mouth look like but anyway y'all i'm trying to do a uh, real housewives of atlanta for y'all before my lunch is over and get these uploaded and sent to y'all so i'll talk to y'all later love y'all Bye.